Hey, MJ. Hey. What are we doing now? Doing something we used to do quite often, looking at magazines in this spot. I know, this is a different video though, so you don't have to talk like we're in Towson anymore, we're just doing stuff. Looking like the Fangoria in here. Well, we always did this. I love to remember things. Oh, I love Barnes and Noble books, but I used to like the, the borders though a bit more, and now they're all like flopped and closing. It's just like, you know, all those um, blockbusters are all closing too, you know. Like, I know they've all been, but now they're all like really closing. So I'm like worried about Wet Movie. Isn't it weird though how like something that was like the big thing? Because don't you remember like what, what a joy it was to rent movies? It was like one of the best things back in the day. I know. On Fridays I would go and rent something and watch it on the weekend. And, and now it's become like a flopped art. What are you looking at, MJ? The DVD. Oh. oh. If only you could show more in Barnes & Noble, but as Tom Wakehoff would say, everyone knows Barnes & Noble. He says that? No, he didn't say that. So we're going to the Towson Town Center now. Well, you know what? Fuck this narrating business. We're going to the mall, right? Yeah. What's with this narrating? I don't know. I guess we're just used to it. I know. It's like, well, we're about to take a really big poop. Does anybody want to look? We wouldn't know when the poop take a poop. It goes way out of your butt. Like, Wait, I'm just taking a big shit. Yeah, it's like, you know, we're taking a shit. We don't need to explain how it works. It just happens. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I think a lot of people do that, so they should know. I'm sure they know how it happens. Yeah, I mean, and if they don't, then... Hmm. There shouldn't be a lot of questions. And if there is, you really may need to examine yourself if you need to, you know, if you have a lot of questions for how pooping works. Yeah. I'm, pretty, I'm like starving right now. What is going on over there? A meeting of the security guards? Well, last night I watched a really good episode of Big Brother. Well, I watched an episode of, um, you know, Force Them on Playboy TV. Yeah, I know. I played with myself last night. I had a really good time. What did you do? I told you. I watched Big Brother. Oh, all right. Did you play with yourself? Yeah. Hey, Tiki Bobby, what did you do? I watched like 1500, and that's like seriously like the greatest show in 15 years. Uh, not really. I'm not really into drama side. I'm just more into comedy. Yeah, well, if you realize it has comedy elements to it, too. MJ, what are you talking? What are you doing? I don't know. I mean, don't you think they talk about stuff like that sometimes? I don't know. They're talking about security guard stuff, you know, like jock itch and bananas and, you know, lunch, sandwiches, things like that. Speaking of what? Speaking of which? I know. Hungry. 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 Takes a while. Okay. Hey, MJ, get back here. Hi. What's funny, you were telling me you've had that jacket since middle school. Before. This before middle school? Yeah, I got this when I was 10. I, yeah, I'm serious. Like, I got this my last year of elementary school, and then I thought, this would be a jacket I can wear when I go to middle school, and I, little did I know how much middle school would suck, but... Well, what's funny about you is, like, you grew at one point, and you stopped growing. But I grew when I was really young. Like, I grew quickly, though, so... a girlfriend so for you, MJ. You know what I mean? Like, I grew, like, really quickly, so... That's why a lot of the shoes I have, I've had back then, I can still fit in now, because my feet were big even then. Oh, I know. Lens Quattos. That one store is always. I remember that one place over here, you know, Harry and David. Mm. Moonch. Look, 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 Moose Moonch. Moose Do you like Moose Moonch, MJ? I never had it. And then there's the Hallmark Gold Crown. Back there, remember that used to be Waves? Oh, waves music. And then, like, remember the Deviant worked in there? Oh, the yeah. Deviant 3? Justice? No, alright, does this used to be KB Toys? No, no, I'll show you where that was. No, that was more up here. Oh, KB Toys was downstairs. It is? Yeah, it's downstairs. I'll show you. Oh. But, like, it was funny, in the last movie we were in, we had to wear women's scarves, because, like, the Walmart didn't have... Well, they weren't necessarily women's scarves. I mean... They were unisex, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, what is that thing up there about? I don't know. I guess they just didn't decide not to hang anything. You think, do you think someone goes up there and does tricks? Maybe. Oh, I saw these in... Cheers. I saw those in a, um... In a ma oh, this girl wearing these on a magazine cover, and I always wanted to see what they looked like up close. Oh. I love that story, MJ. This has always been here. Yeah. This mall seems pretty much the same. I don't feel like I don't feel like too much changed. No. I would I guess I'd be a But that's been gone since you and me before we had even had pubes. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, Actually, mean, I, I think it was there when I was in middle school, so I don't even think you knew what, you know, off was back then. 
when the last time I was here. Well, I did by like seventh grade. But yeah, I remember when you first told me about it after American Pie. <laughs> that's kind of a funny story. Yeah, it's kind of a personal story. Yeah, Boy, should, that was hot. I probably shouldn't have brought it up, but oh well. What are you gonna do? Oh. Yeah, and if you excuse me, I'm gonna go to the bathroom now. For what? Look at this. Finally, plum sauce. And like they used to have duck sauce, and now they have plum sauce. And Pan Express is all out on the East Coast. They've got this. But when you go to California, MJ, they're like, what is that? We don't have that. It's like, like it's like in in um, Baltimore. Uts, yes. Was Uts, yeah. Uts. Is that how you said it? Uts, yes. Yes. And where, like, where you are? Yeah. Uts, no. No. Well, it's kind of it's funny. It's just like you know, it's it's a gener it's a sauce from the from Panda Express. Like, why would they not have it there, but they have it here? You know what I mean? It's like going to Burger King and going, oh, we don't have sweet and sour sauce out in California. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, if you ask them in down there, Uts chips, like, what's that? It's kind of I know. Sucks. Like, it's really good. What'd you get down? What'd you get in there? Oh, I got. I always got the fried rice and the chow mein. Yeah. And lately I've been a real big fan of the black pepper chicken. I know, I remember you talked about that. And then there's this, um, the broccoli and beef. Let's, let's see you try some, because it's been a long time. It's been a long time. Since anyone seen you enjoy the comforts of food. Yeah. There's no noise. Yeah, so this time I actually can enjoy the comforts of food. Wow. Isn't it nice how there's nothing, like, no, just no noise at all? I know. Oh, jeez, what happened? Be careful. Oh, jeez, MJ. <laughs> MJ, watch, you know, what is it, you know, you ate the other food fine, and then you go and eat the string beans and you cause a big scene. String beans cause a scene? Okay, I didn't, wait a minute. You don't even like string beans. No, I don't like green beans, but when they mix it and cook it a different way of black pepper chicken, it's okay. Aren't green beans the same thing as string beans? Yeah, but like I said, if you cook it differently, it's okay. Oh, okay then. Uh, that's kind of, that's interesting. I, I guess you just don't like plain green beans. Yeah, by themselves. Yeah. I don't know. It's, remember how like them all up on the ceiling? They used to have like that helicopter and the cloud skies. Yeah, it was always the cloud skies, and now it's like the year three thousand. I know. Hey, MJ, what are you doing? Uh, I'm just uh, stretching. And Aren't you getting a slight bit of the? From the food. Fresh after that, it was wonderful though. Oh look, remember that used to be the hair place? Oh yeah. Now it's like some kind of like a cheap bag store. Yeah, well, we like just had um, customer service used to be in the mall. Like I the know. Summer. Yeah, I just had a Dr Pepper. And I'll admit, every time I drink it, I think of um, back in um, I think like fourth or like fifth grade when Toy Story came out and um, Burger King with the toys, and I got to think of Woody and I got a meal. You got a Woody. No, I got a, I got Woody, you know. What? You know, they had a thing of Woody and I also got Buzz. You got Buzz and had a Woody? You know, and I had a Dr. Pepper with it. It went down real smooth. MJ, that, this discuss, just discussion is a little bit inappropriate, and I'm kind of offended. You're talking about getting buzzed, having a Woody, and doing something with a Dr. Pepper. It's, it's a kid's movie. What? Yeah. All right, MJ, just listen to smooth jazz and smooth along into a smooth world of smooth jazz. You smell, that, you smell that smooth scent? Yeah. It smells, it smells good and smooth. It's a smooth, wet fart. That place is new. True religion. Yeah. You notice how, like, they still have yet to open up a lot of the stores in here? Yeah. There's still all these... Remember what used to be here, the classic Rainforest Cafe? Yeah, that was right here. Like, see, this whole area here is new in the mall. Well, not, no, not, not, not new now, but... This is originally right about around here. It stopped, so it became like the outside parking garage. And like this spo area is supposed to be like such a big thing, and like no one really goes to these things. They're too expensive. Who's buying like six hundred dollar bags? I know, and I mean, I you, you know, wouldn't you rather get like a whole ton of DVDs or something like cool than like one six hundred dollar bag? Or at least have like Sam Goody. I know, I know. You know, MJ, this is you know, this is really pathetic. You know, I mean, like it's like nothing open anymore down here. It's a big mess. I think the bow store is closed too. It's like they p put all this money into this part, and like, it's this stuff was too expensive. Nobody wanted to pay this kind of money for this crap in Towson. I know. And maybe in New York City, but I don't know. It's, it doesn't make sense. They do have those fizzly balls for the tub though. It's lush. And nobody's in these places, but all they like to do is play that smooth jazz. Well, that's a good. That's one good thing about it. I know that smooth jazz is like. Please forget that we 
spent millions on this that no one goes to. There's smooth your troubles messaging. away. There's subtle messaging in that, in that smooth. Song. And you notice how like the smooth jazz is really playing loud down there, but with other parts of the mall there's no smooth jazz? True. I'm telling you, it's because they want you to smooth your troubles away. They don't want you to, to you know, what's that about? Smooth jazz? No smooth jazz, just, you know, mall. Nothing. It's true. Yeah, you're right, now it's gone because... Right, it's back in the spot. Actually, no, it's actually down there. Yeah. It used to be this awesome sword and knife shop. That was one of my favorite places in this mall. Oh, I remember that. And down here was where Suncoast used to be, and those were, like, all flopped and closed. It was, like, authentic, too. And now called FY80. When you like to go there and just shake that up and, and spill all those plates everywhere. <laughs> it's FYE, it's like FYI. Look, look. Yes, it's. Yes, it's. Yes, it's. FYE, FY, like FYI, too much information. I know. FYI, TMI. Is it too bad how, like, it's like that's the difference in Baltimore and, you know, San Diego. No what's and no plum sauce. Yeah. Those are like the two main things I miss. And then you'll still see these plants sitting in the middle. I know. Oh, this is something entirely new. This is like... No, this has been there. It's like new generations, you know? But no one goes in it. Yeah, you don't see me going in there. People like put, like put down like classic stores like Sam Goody and Arcades, but at least people went in them. You know yeah, what I mean? I'm, I could never go in there and not see a huge crowd of people. I like these, that. you could actually walk around by yourself. All these stores are almost like dead. Here's, here's one that was always here, the icing. Icing. And Claire's was always here, I think. Claire's. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. That's new. That's kind of a cool setup. The Dishman. In the screen, look. It's a Dishman, MJ. Don't you like Dishman? Dishman. Dishman. My good friend Dishman and Dishman I like shorts. to go the, there and buy shorts with Dishman. Dishman Mushman. Me and my father Dishman. Fashion Mushman. The fashion of the Dishman. Remember in H&M used to be that card store? Card something or other? Hogs and monkeys? I always wondered what H&M stood for. Hammy. Ham and mozzarella. Ham and mozzarella. Honey and mustard. Honey mustard cheese sauce. Yes. And here's this, here's this classic view, you know, oh yeah, looking that's up. That's we have to go all the way up there to get the true view. Yeah. There's that men's warehouse. Remember how we were filming that Dufresne video and you had to go in there and get that monkey suit? Oh, that. For the yeah. prom? Yeah, what was the prom? What was that? That was, uh, yeah, that was like the senior prom. Let's go downstairs now. I think we were shooting it around. Oh, I know. Remember the one time we came down here and discovered that, the, you know, Dairy Queen closed? Oh, yeah. Didn't that time make you sick? We were shooting a video around that yeah, time? No, we were shooting down here, all, you know, with the webcam, I mean, the, you know, the vlog camera, and then we went over there, and DQ was closed. Oh, wait, no, not the prom. It was a formal. Yeah, the formal frat. I was going to say, yeah, we didn't, I didn't know the frat back when I graduated high school. Yeah. I think it's Dairy Queen. I know. You know, MJ, when I come in here, you know what happens? What? I just get depressed. And not because I moved or anything, because I remember how cool this mall used to be. Yeah. And now it's just, you know, $600 bag stores and no one goes into, but I'm just going to close down. Yeah, there's nothing different like clothing stores, accessory stores, like, no electronics, nothing else, you know, just like hats and stuff. And oh, I know. At least I have a few stores left. Are there even any DVD stores here anymore? No. There's none. You have to wish in one hand a lot of times in this place for certain things. And the shit fills up first. Yeah, the nice store you liked was down there. Yeah, it was right in there. What was? There was, see, right there next to the elevator in the middle, there was like a restaurant there. Oh, I remember Actually, years I remember back. Um, when the Lion King came out to theaters, I saw it with like most of my family, and then we all went to that little off spot right in front of the elevator and ate, and we were talking about our favorite scene. This was my favorite scene is the scene where he was in the woods and he burps. Oh, jeez. Yes, I remember that that well. Yeah. That was 94, I think. Probably. Yeah, that, was 90, that was 94. I was like 8 at the time. I think that was one of the first movies that I went to with Dweebo in the theater, like he went to as a kid. I know. I remember, I think I saw The Little Mermaid in theaters, and you see, that shows you how long ago that was. Oh, I know. MJ, what did you do there? Oh, well, I tried. You sphincter. MJ, why did you do that? I thought I thought I could run along the thing, but little did I know that, you know, that thing couldn't sustain 236 pounds. MJ, you're getting fat. I don't... What? What is it with this weird running gag everyone's making up about me getting fat? 
Everyone says you're getting fat, MJ. All right, as for this, if you're talking about my hips, it's because I have so much in my pockets. Well, talk about fat. The last movie we did, we were wearing coats under our outfits. Yeah, and just the so you know. The pictures posted, we look really fat yeah, in the them. the pictures posting online from that last movie we did in the jumpsuits, since it was cold out, we were wearing our coats under the jumpsuits, so it makes us look fatter. And you know what's in there over there, that fit across? Remember that one year they had the um, horrifying convention there? Let's walk to this side. People are behind us. Now, if you really remember me and my jokes, you know what they're going to put in there soon? What? In that building right there. Where? In this empty space. What are they going to put here? A comic book shop? Yeah, you know my jokes too well. When are they, what, what are they, it's going to be there. I may, I've been making that joke for two years. No, I can't wait until they finally put one in there, though, so I can, you know, It's a joke, there. MJ. I just said it was a joke. They're never putting one in there. Wait, so you made that up? Yeah. Oh. So have you been waiting for that? Yeah, I actually thought they were putting one in there. No. See, it's a joke. Oh. It's P.F. Chang's. The thing with P.F. Chang's, though, is sometimes you can have an okay experience. Okay, it's just, the setting's not very fun. The food, it doesn't taste bad. Look at that. The food's just, you know, it's like so-so. When you leave, it's like I ate. You're not, you're not you know, and Cheesecake Factory is amazing, and I'm surprised P.F. Chang's is still in business being next to Cheesecake Factory. So we were just in Cheesecake Factory with Ryan. Oh, shit, look. What, uh, Super Fresh is closed. The classic, classic, true super fresh. I know. Well, the one. How me, long have you known about this? I haven't been up here in a while, but the, the super fresh I always go to. Is, Let's go up and look at that. Yeah, the super fresh I always go to is the one in um, Demonium, the but, one near um. But Matt, Mary that's I the, and, Matt. I mean, MJ. You know, people know your name's Matt, but sorry, but you know that's the one that we went to when we filmed the Thanksgiving one. Remember? Yeah. Can you believe the the classic one is closing? Well, I know. My pants are gonna fall the fuck down. Oh shit. Look at that MJ, it's all gone. They're putting something called Fresh Market. What the fuck is a Fresh Market? It's weird, they use it for some for one market and they switched it so it could just be a different market. It's like, you know, was it Element Sesame? They changed one sushi place and exchanged it with a different sushi place. I know, like leave the other one. It's like, what, why, if, if you're gonna do that, then just leave the old one there. We did Can't Beat the Heat in here too, remember? Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. You take the first step, the second step. Good luck getting that out of your head. Let's stand on the side. This car wants to hug your butthole. What is up with that? Everyone wanting to do that to me. Man, look at that. Ooh, you can actually have to see Jeez. This is like the true classic super fresh. Look at that. Wow. Oh, jeez, look. It's all torn down and gone. That's what it looks like. I know. Does that kind of ruin your day? Yeah, were you actually able to see all that in there? I got some of it. Yeah, I hope you can really see it. What? Everyone should take a look at that. Yeah, it's all kinds of stuff going on in there. It doesn't even look like the same thing anymore. It, it, it's weird. When you see it as a whole, it, it looks smaller. I know. Is this where we shot part of the one Thanksgiving show where we're walking around getting stuff? Uh-huh. Let me get you from this side. It's better lighting. For some reason, from certain sides, we were standing on that way. Now it's good. For some reason, if you get you from certain sides, it's... You're all like washed out. Sorry. I don't know why it does that. I guess it's the sun. That's just something about you. Maybe, I don't know. Doesn't that suck though? Like I was saying, that's what sucks though about when you come back to a place after a while, things have to change. Yeah, it's like why, why can't they have to go and change stuff? I know. They can't just stay the same. I'm sure some people are like, you guys just gotta get over things like this. Yeah, that's what sucks. Some people are like, get over it. <laughs> No. You don't understand what it's like. Remember we got this pizza this one time when we went to film the Friday the 13th review? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I know. Man. A lot of business going on. Yeah, I wonder what, I don't get why there's always, always cop cars going all over the place. They're probably like, those guys peeked in that place. Come over here and arrest them. Right, they're not supposed to look in there. What happened? Peeked? Oh jeez. They're, they're coming to get us. We'll have to run and hide in the library. No one will find us in there. Yeah, no one goes in there. Whew. Fuck up. Yeah. You know how so we keep getting these weird looks today? Yeah. What's going on? I know, we didn't used to get those looks when I walked around in middle school. I know. I wonder if some of these people might know who we are. Yeah. The fools from the internet, like Ken Faree said, remember? I know who you are. You're those fools from the, the internet. internet. Wasn't he a cool guy? He was awesome. 
This is a really cool wall to stand in front of. It's like you can just film me, like stand right there and film me and talk about stuff. And Remember Doug Ahern did a picture like that? Yeah. He's like that. Doug, it's like ready when you are, Doug. All right. I know. Who would ever thought Doug Ahern had that magical voice? No, I know. We knew him the whole time. You knew him since elementary school. I met him in like middle school and high school. Who would have known he was such a great performer? I know. Let's cross the street over there. Here? Watch this! No, watch this guy. Let's just let's hang around over here for a little bit, though. Right. Well, what used to be in here? Coming from the, oh, a bank or something. I think I, I don't think I ever went in here before. No, I don't either. There's like a letter to him there. There. I know they have things going on in there. It, look at this woman. She's like, I forgot my bag. It's getting really busy now. Yeah. Our antisocial behaviors are going to come out soon. We don't like being around all these people. No. MJ. Sometimes I know what happens to you when, when you get around too many people. You start freaking out. I, 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 wouldn't, want, I wouldn't want that to happen. You're all right, right? I'm fine. No, you're not freaking out. You're not freaking out, are you? No. I mean, right? You don't have any eye problems, do you? No. That, oh no, MJ. The eye problems coming back. MJ, calm down. Oh jeez. Oh my God. What's? Oh MJ, I'm getting out of here. Hey MJ, it's that real classic, inspiring way where you always walk. Yeah, Something smells good. I don't know about you, but something smells like a classic, like, like 1993 chips or something. Yeah, probably Uts. Yeah, Uts, like, really good. Uts yes, Uts, no, no Uts in California. Something you could, like, eat, you know what I mean? It's like, you could, like, um, so we're going to go to the arcade. All right, just let me finish my Uts. I know. Ugh. Remember how they used to be those escalators and then they always shocked the shit out of you? Yeah, remember the, in the old, this old Easter video we did, it's Don and Mark Feaster. Um, there's a shot of you going down the escalator going a different way. I'll take the, the elevator. It was like too, too fat and tired for that right now. Yeah. There's the AMC Townsend Commons where he's at. Hey, MJ. They, like, took out the seats. You used to be able, like, you can't go back that way. And they used to be the seats we sat on. And now they have this line, please exit this property immediately after leaving the theater. Isn't that crazy? What's the area's changed a lot. I know, things have kind of gone to butt do. So there's like that wall over there, you actually used to... Used to be able to go down there, but well, this is a long time ago, we used to go down there, and they had that big screen, remember on the wall? And we used to sit back there and eat, and there was a Pizza Uno's. Yeah, there was, an, there was this empty spot, like this, around the corner, and then there was an entrance to like this, yeah, Pizza Uno's, but outside there were these tables, we would get stuff from Seven Eleven. Well, it looks like right there used to be down. all food, over there used to be a cheesesteak place, over there was all food. Didn't they, someone ask us once, would you please leave, this is, you're not supposed to be here, but it's like, it's like these empty tables. Yeah, it's just like a wall. It's all. It's like you know, it doesn't exist anymore. I know. Hey, MJ. Hey. So we just got out of seeing Hall Pass. Yeah. And I, I really thought it was pretty good. It was. I'll admit, it was a lot funnier than I thought it would be. I had a feeling I'd like it, but I didn't think I'd like it this much. Let's start down the escalator. Let's do like a review going down the escalator, and walking. But it's directed by the Farley Brothers. Yeah, and usually everything they do is usually good. Like the only they've done done some that were kind of a little weaker, like. Fever pitch wasn't as good as some of them. Yeah, that's what I mean. Me and a bunch of kids snuck into that one summer. You did with the Drew Barrymore one? Yeah. Wait. No, so that was Summer's Catch. Oh, I'm thinking right. I'm thinking of Summer's Catch. Never yeah, Fever's Catch. I never saw Fever Pitch. That was the one with Drew Barrymore. And all right. Yeah, but it was it was all right. It wasn't as good as some of the other ones. But this one it was Luke Wilson and what's the name of that other guy? Owen Wilson. No, Owen Wilson. I always screw that. I don't know why I always say that. Yeah, Owen yeah. Wilson. Another dude. I keep forgetting his name, but I keep like a lot of stuff. There's like a lot of people in this. Section. There's a lot of cool cameos and like the main, Richard the Jenkins, you know, the dad from Step Brothers and from Stealing Harvard. Yeah, the one guy who's, um, who played the dad in the show, Kyle XY, he was in it. Mm -hmm. um, I can't remember the one, the redhead woman who played um, Owen Wilson's wife. I, I forget. I know her. She's in lots of stuff too. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't remember, remember exactly what though. But like basically, let's go let's walk this way. Basically, the plot is, you know, they switch. No, they don't switch. What? Are, well, they have all these areas you can't go here now, and they closed up. Down there is where Borders Books was. Remember? I remember the Olympic champion Michael Phelps' autograph was on the wall there. Yeah, we're still in there. And yes, we went to high school. And through, I mean, I went to elementary school all the way through high school with him. I had lunch with him like ten times. Not by close. I know he's kind of. I won't, won't get into that. Yeah. But let's stand over here. Well, let's talk about. But let's let's talk, talk about, about the movie. I know. And but basically, they end up getting a you know vacation from their marriage, and I, and you know it ends up what they end up doing during that period of time. What it is is um I don't know. At points they still see hot young girls and they sort of like them, and then the wife's the one. This little woman tells the two wives, 
says, look, maybe you should just let them do it, get it out of their system, and they'll see how, how much, you know, they'll realize how much they appreciate married life. And they do, and of course it doesn't go quite the way they thought. Yeah. And it's just a lot of really... You don't want to ruin any details, yeah, it's like but... Yeah, but a lot of funny I mean, stuff happens. The, the movie's process. not absolutely 100% perfect, you know what I mean? Like, right. there are a few little dragging parts, but... It was a really cool movie. Like well, overall, it was, it was really good. Like there's some parts where it's kind of like not as much humor, right. but there was really a funny like teen joke. We won't we won't ruin it, there's but like it was few, really funny. There's like a few really funny parts in this. And the thing is, their movies always are. I mean, I know it's people are saying this one's not as good or it hasn't been getting like amazing reviews, mm -hmm. but this was definitely more on the lines of there's um, me myself and Irene. Yeah, like they're then you think it's more like that kind of a movie. Yeah, they're funnier stuff. And they also have heart. Have you noticed that? Like they always. Yeah, this one definitely. Did. And that's the thing I like about their stuff is they're not just silly; they actually have a point to them. You yeah, know this what one I mean? Had a really good point to it. I know, and, and there's a lot of people from their other movies that had cameos. The one from um, Kingpin, who was the main girl in Kingpin, had a small part in it. Yeah. The one guy who was the friend at the table who was sort of sitting there, kind of funny, because he had—he didn't—I don't think he said much, but he was at the table. Was in some of their other movies too. The fat guy? No, I think he played like the bowling guy. In Kingpin, a lot of people from Kingpin. Yeah, the, one of the dudes I think plays um, Leon from Curb Your Enthusiasm. He was he's, in he's it. He's always funny. And the British guy from British Extras. Guy, yeah, I think and he was in that rock movie, um, Tooth Fairy. That's like one of the few things I saw him in. But he's friends with Ricky Gervais, you know. Yeah. And they were on Extras together, and that Ricky oh, Gervais right. show. Yeah, he did lots of stuff with them. Yeah, I think this might might. Yeah, he's been a couple things now. But this is definitely what well, I would say this at is least definitely worth checking at out. least four and a half to five. I was say four and a half, yeah, four and a half. Four, four and it, half we can't say exactly five because there's a few like little. Yeah, four and a half is a good rating. I know a lot of people said that, um, some people were like, "Why didn't you see a Take Me Home tonight?" But the thing is, I wanted to see that too. The, the thing is, this came out first, and we really wanted yeah, to see heard, this first. Yeah, we heard of this one first. Well, like next, we will be seeing that one. We're gonna do our very too. best, so we should be. I mean, and I really hope it authentically feels like the decade it's set for. I know. I really want. I'm in the mood to be brought back. I know this little camera is almost filled with an hour of video because I have stuff with Victor on it too. Oh goodness! There's a lot of stuff on this. Hopefully, it doesn't have any sound problems. You know, like blows out audio yeah, or anything. Yeah, well, I, I have think, no idea. I think we're projecting well enough. It should be pretty good, but I would definitely recommend yes. it. Big Check Mama's House, that. though, you haven't seen that? No. That wasn't amazing. That I wasn't wanted, yeah, because I loved the first two, and I thought, I, I was hoping it would be funny. I think that Eagle's that one about, like, fighting or something. I There's don't know. There's a few out, like, one now, like, that Johnny Depp one, Rango, I want to see. Another is, um, the one also, I think it's Beastly. I really want to see that. That's like a modern-day Beauty and the Beast story. There's a bunch of them I, now. It's I funny, see. like, they didn't update this. Like, a lot of other stuff's playing, they're yeah. not up on there. Cause Beastly was up on that board. I know. I don't know. Gnome Juliet. That's been out for a while, hasn't it? Gnomeo and Juliet, yeah. Juliet. And, um, Unknown was okay, you know. I never I saw that. I never saw that. What was that, Liam Neeson? Yeah. Yeah, I never saw that. My name's John something, and I haven't forgotten everything. That's the way he said it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, we're going to go now to Club A. Mm. Mm. I'm paying for it because we, we used to spun some of your funds. Oh, well, though. I still have money. I wish that only if that was true, my bank account would be so happy.